a real situation where I was sleep one night, man, and his his blue like his silhouette, like a silhouette, and he basically said, "Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let my music die." And um, scared out of his <laughs> right up. Just off the fact that the prior to that, the day before, my mom was bringing up, you know, you and Tupac, y'all like days apart, y'all birthday, and I never knew that. Sh- it was yeah. a wild. Sh- once he said that, sh- and I'm really big on sh- like that, right, spiritual right. Sh- like that. Somebody comes in your dream and it relays a message. You gotta listen. You gotta listen to it because I got past family relatives that's been past and been coming to my dreams forever. Right, okay. I mean, and talking to me. And um, I just really wanted to uh, share that message, man. And I felt like it was something I just couldn't keep to myself. I want to put it out to the world and let them know this sh- is real for me. I mean, I'm not only doing it for myself anymore. I'm doing it for people around me, my city, of course, and for a, a, a bigger power. And that's to continue the message. That- what y'all think, man? You clean that up quick because he said it was a dream. I thought you were talking about like he appeared in my bedroom. Like, that's what I thought you were talking about. That's, like so, that's what it sounded like. But then he clearly, said that's clearly what's motivating him to do like what he just did. You yeah. know, dissing uh, J. Cole and, and uh, Drake. Um do you think okay there's two scenarios that people are gonna think of immediately is this man getting visited by demons <laughs> or is this an innocent dream but at the end of the day he believes this and he, he uses that as his motivation because yeah, yeah. you know doing the disses that he's done over the years is Tupac energy yeah, right yeah. so, so is Tupac what do you think is behind God? what do you think is behind <laughs> this dream is it is anything to worry about Demons. <laughs> I, I don't even think it was a dream. I don't think it was a real dream. You think it, he was visited by demons? Yeah, I, I don't think it was a real dream. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think it was a. Uh, I, I think it was just a dream. Like, you know, I've dreamed that I was in, um, in, uh, you know, the Grand Canyon, but I've never been to the Grand Canyon. It was just a dream. But I was. So you don't think it was nothing demonic? I hope not. Not in the dream. I mean, I thought he was talking about came to his bedroom, like well, I mean, appeared in the window. Yeah, visited in dreams. Too. Yeah, visited in dreams. Yeah. Well, this is why I think it's important because God does warn against like communicating with the dead and yeah, sure. seances and and yeah. magic and witchcraft and all that. So uh, it's just it just makes me nervous because you're you're not supposed to but, get, be getting messages from yeah. dead people. So it's, I only see it one time yeah. in the Bible where that happened, and uh, that's when um, Saul was talking to that uh, the guy that asked Samuel to, uh, um, to come back because oh, yeah, he, he yeah, had lost yeah. the favor of God. Mm. And Samuel was like, man, stop bothering me, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, God ain't fooling with you, man. Let me risk. You know, so that's the only time I seen that. So yeah. other than that, demon. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That demon. No, but yeah. that, that clip is old. And that clip it's like 2011? Like, yeah, it looked like it's like that time. So... It, unfortunately, he could be a spirit god. Tupac could be that man's spirit god and telling him what to do. But it, it's not Tupac, though. It's somebody else. And it ain't Jesus. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I, I just, that's weird. 